cathode reaction, um, our understanding of Genesis, we believe that the Bible is primarily meant by God to teach us supernatural truths, truths that we could not discover by our own reason. Very important supernatural truths. So Genesis 1 teaches very important supernatural truths. There's one God outside of the universe, created that universe from nothing, such that the universe had a beginning in time. That God created man directly, and Eve was formed from Adam. Monogenism, that the entire human race has a single set of first parents, that our first parents were created in a state of original justice, that they fell from that state by sin, and the wound of their sin was communicated to the entire human race. The church teaches that Genesis was meant to teach us these truths. And if we look at Genesis, we see that it's extremely effective in teaching these things, that God created everything. The six-day description very clearly indicates that um, God separating parts of the universe and then adorning those parts, which brings home to us that he's in charge of the entire universe. The church does not hold us, make us believe that Genesis teaches. Uh, the church tells us Genesis does not teach the universe is a certain age, the earth is a certain age, human race is a certain age, or that the universe developed in a certain way. So Cardinal Ernesto Ruffini, who is one of the conservative fathers of Vatican II, um, he wrote a book, uh, Evolution uh, Judged by Reason and Faith. He said, God could very well reveal, and who doubts it, in what order and in what time he made the various things appear in the world. But in his inscrutable wisdom, he preferred to leave such questions to human research. In other words, God wanted to reveal to us things we could not know by our own reason, and he left us to explore natural truths that we could discover on our own. He gave us reason, sort of like a, um, you know, what you do with your children. You just like give them, send them on a, a, um, uh, a hunt for things um, uh, because you want them to, to exercise their own reason. So the church considers question of the age and the development of the universe to be questions of science that are not part of the revealed truths contained in the Bible. I looked at all the pre-Vatican II scripture manuals. I taught scripture at Holy Cross Seminary, um, and that converted me from creationism of, of the Protestants. Um, and I found that no Catholics hold the Protestant view in pre-Vatican II manuals. So this is why Pius XII had no problem the Big Bang Theory. He gave a speech to the Pontifical Academy of Sciences in 1951 indicating its compatibility with the Catholic faith. He said, uh, he, he mentioned the theory pointing to a universe that was between 5 and 10 billion years old. Um, and he said that far from contradicting Genesis, the Catholic reading of Genesis, that this supports Genesis. Here's his quote. He says, although these figures may seem astounding, nevertheless, even to the simplest of the faithful, they bring no new or different concept from the one they learned in the opening words of Genesis, in the beginning. That is to say, at the beginning of things in time. The figures we have quoted clothe these words in a concrete and almost mathematical expression, while from them there springs forth a new source of consolation for those who share the esteem of the apostle for that divinely inspired scripture, which is always useful for teaching, for reproving, for correcting, for instruction. Instructing. So in other words, he had the same reaction as Robert Jastrow. He said, wow, this confirms what we believed all along. And so we should embrace this as something that is um, a new weapon that we have uh, in support of our faith. 